Hi, everybody. Hi, Bible Buddy. Hello, everybody. I got something. What do you have, Bible Buddy? Uh, what do you have, Bible Buddy? Bread. I'm trying to break it. Wait, Bible Buddy, what do you mean you're breaking the bread? That's what Jesus did. He broke the So you, you're... Wait, you're trying to throw it on the ground to break the bread? Yeah, isn't that how you break bread? I don't think that's what Jesus meant when he broke bread. Really? I, yeah, really. Oh, what do you mean? Well, when Jesus got together with his disciples, he broke bread with them, but he was pretending, and he wanted them to have a visual that this bread represents to his body. Body? Weird. Well, he, they didn't understand. He was about ready to die. And his body was going to be no longer. Oh, how sad. Yeah, so he wanted them to remember him. I remember him. Yeah, you do. All the time, don't you? Yeah, I remember him a lot. So every time they got together, he wanted them always to remember him. And one of the things they were to do was to break the bread, and drink from the cup. Oh. Yeah, see, the bread represents Jesus' body. It was going to die on the cross. And the cup represented his blood that would be shed as he died on the cross. That's sad. But it's important that we remember. That's what Jesus wanted. He said, remember me. Remember me. Don't forget me. Every time you have bread together, break the bread. Yep, he tore it. Thanks for your help. He tore it. He broke the bread and he said, do this in remembrance of me. Then he took a cup after supper and he said, drink of the cup. And whenever you do, remember me. Jesus does not want us to forget him. He said, remember me. What did he say? Remember me. Do you remember what you're supposed to remember? Remember me. Yes, and this all took place on that Thursday before the crucifixion. Oh, oh, that Monday Thursday. No, not, yes, Monday Thursday, not Monday Thursday. Monday Thursday. You don't know your days of the week. No, not Monday Thursday, Monday Thursday. Oh. I thought it was Monday, Thursday. No, Monday. It was a command. Monday represented the command that Jesus said, remember me. Remember me and tell everybody. Remember me. Remember me. That's what our story today is about. Trying to remember whenever we do anything, remember Jesus wants us to love like he loved, to forgive like he forgave, and to serve like he served. Wow. Remember Jesus. That's Easter, isn't it? Sure is. Let's listen to our story today. We're going to start our story today where Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples. Today we're reading from the Beginner's Bible. Washing the disciples' feet. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he filled the bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Then it was Peter's turn, and he said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to all, as I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and to serve each other. Jesus told them, one of you will turn against me tonight. His disciples were shocked and said, we would 
never do that. No, Lord, it wouldn't be me. Who will turn against you, asked John. The one I give this piece of bread to, said Jesus. And he handed it to Judas and said, do what you must do. And Judas quickly. The Last Supper. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and he blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces and he gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you. But I will return to you soon. At first, you will be very sad. But do not be frightened. Soon. You will understand, and you will be filled with joy. That night, Jesus is arrested and crucified. Judas went to the leaders, and he asked, Hey, how much will you guys pay me if I help you capture Jesus? They said, Hmm, how about 30 pieces of silver? So Judas took the money and made a plan. That night, Jesus had gone to his favorite garden to pray. The disciples went along. Jesus prayed, Father, if it is your will, I am ready to give my life so that all the people who trust in me will be saved from their sins. Soon, Judas arrived with some soldiers. Peter wanted to protect Jesus, but Jesus said, no, I must allow this to happen. All the disciples ran away, and the soldiers arrested Jesus. They took Jesus to the leaders, and the leader said, you say... You are the Son of God. We do not believe you. The soldiers then took charge of Jesus. They made him carry a big wooden cross. They took him to a place called the Skull or Golgotha. And there they nailed Jesus to the cross. And Jesus died on the cross. Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad, but they had forgotten something important. Jesus had said he would see them again soon. Our story doesn't end there because we know that's what Easter is all about. It's about Jesus. He didn't stay in the tomb. He rose from the dead. Yeah, I like that part. <laughs> yes, and Easter is just around the corner, isn't it? Yeah, and remember, remember. That's right. We are to remember Jesus, aren't we, on this, the Easter season. So everybody, whatever you do, remember Jesus loves you, and he died for you. Remember, remember, I remember Jesus. He loves me. <laughs>